And hello everybody, Dr. Chris Tomshack with HealthSource Chiropractic here. You know, probably the first milestone in your practice, if yours is up and running, was getting to that 100 patient visits in a week. Now, unfortunately, a lot of doctors only brush up against that mark and then kind of fall back down, maybe brush up against it. And it's a, it's a, uh, it's a very uh, demeaning, if you will, existence. And a number of docs blow right on past it and never look back. But when I talk about patient numbers, understand it's based on a huge caveat, and that is within HealthSource, our patients always receive the best possible care. We're talking about the relentless pursuit of exceptional care. No roller tables or e-stim or ultrasound or you know, very little cold laser. That stuff is old, outdated stuff. We're talking about basing it on outstanding chiropractic technique with active supportive care. And for the very, very best results, all care should be based on objective outcomes. Did you hear that? Objective, not subjective, not everybody gets the same blanket treatment program. Those, that stuff's got to go, right? It should be based on objective outcomes. So my idea of patient numbers is very different from about 90% of our profession. So anyways, there's this doctor in, in Minnesota. This doc went to work in a health source office and entered into our doctor training program. Then, and, and the doc was there for about four months, and then after, afterwards went on to a different health source office for an additional eight months. Then she went back to the office that she initially trained in and essentially launched her own practice within that side of the health source practice. So she went from seeing zero patients to over 100 patient visits in very short order. She practiced there for a solid two years, built up a wonderful practice within, within that large practice. Then she wanted her own clinic. Very cool. So her regional developer helped her find a location, helped design it, helped build it out, developed a marketing calendar with her. At a certain point, pre-opening, the doc actually, the, the regional developer actually had to have this doctor stop her marketing efforts because he felt that she had actually too many new patients on the books. So she did whatever she had to do by making it happen, not by questioning systems, but instead by focusing on mastering them. No cherry picking, right? And that's what's done for the most part today, cherry picking. Master, if you've got a system, master the system. So anyways, this doc launched with 49 new patients on the schedule in the first week in practice. Not too bad, huh? And so she recently, very, very recently broke 100 patient visits and is climbing rapidly. And this is only after approximately two and a half months inside her brand new practice in a small town. So if you're not where you want to be, it's probably time to do something different. If your practice is where you want it to be, yet you're still chained to it, it's time to do something different. It's much more complicated today to practice. It takes a team. So what is preventing you from building the practice and lifestyle of your dreams? Secondly, what would it mean to you if you had the practice and lifestyle you've dreamed of? How does that change your life? Questions? Shoot me an email. Have an outstanding weekend.